right, y'all wanna hear a crazy story? So I get a call, I think around like eight o'clock this morning, like random number, I pick it up, it's the police. Please, it's an officer saying, hey, uh, we just wanna make you aware that we found your car last night. Um, we know where it's at, it's in Maitland, yeah, or it's in um, Winter Garden, yada, yada. And I'm super confused. I'm like, wait, what are you talking, like, what car? Like, like I didn't go anywhere last night. They're like, oh yeah, well, uh, your Lamborghini that you sent in because my Lambo caught a flat a few days ago. And I had them come pick it up to the dealership. So I, he's saying now that they called me and there's, <laughs> oh, sorry. He was saying basically that, yeah, we found your car. Um, it's completely totaled. And yeah, you know where it's at. And right now I'm like completely baffled. I have no idea what's happening. I'm trying to get what's going on. He basically told me that two guys broke into the dealership, smashed through a glass, went through desk, grabbed keys, go out to the lot and start seeing which key works. And the key that they stumbled upon was my key. My key to my flat range or my flat Lambo gets stolen off the lot. They take this car and they start driving. They call the police, they're trying to look for them. They find these dudes cruising around like Winter Garden in my whip. They start to chase. The dudes take off in my whip. Take off my whip, smash it, lose control of it, and crash it into the side of a building. Completely total. The cop was like, yeah, we found the car, but it's completely total. The, the tires or the um, the rims popped in the back. So the front is completely smashed. The back is smashed when those are done. So now I'm pretty much without a car. This is tight. I feel like I'm so tall that like my head is like literally at the roof. <laughs> and I don't think I can lower it anymore. You know, it's not bad. It's like it's tucked. It's kind of it's kind of tight. It's kind of compact. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even the biggest dude. I'm pretty like lanky, so I can like fold up. But this car is a. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Definitely, but that's the feel you want to have when you're in this car because I don't know what's on the dash, but it's probably upwards of like 250, 260 or something. So. I mean, this is way more space, but it's also a truck. And this feels like some James Bond would drove. It's a lot to look at, bro. All this red is a lot to look at and take in all at once. Because what was the what was the four door uh, Aston Martin that thing? Yes, Repeat. that's the one I wanted so bad. Right, look, that, so <laughs> this probably takes the list. I've seen maybe two, three cars a day, but this is when I have the list of, of cars I need to go through to say, okay, get rid of that, get rid of this. This is definitely going to be still a little snug. But if I have a six eight teammate that get some one of these things comfortably, like I think I should be fine. It's comfortable, I can get in here and just. <laughs> Trying to look like the Bond movie, but it's got 007 um, in the, the headrest and the oh, leather. Oh, it does! See it? Wow! And then if you open if you open up the armrest, it's got all the little buttons, like the no. ejector seat and all that. No! Like, not that they work, but. No, no, for sure, it's, it's, oh. it's, it's a bit of fun. Yo, this, this car is definitely on the list of new cars. It's fun. Um, first time going to Aston Martin dealership. Uh, so really the first time I got to like look around and kind of get inside of the Aston Martin. Kind of surprised. I really like the outsides, I've always have. You know, the designs have always been kind of dope, kind of reminds me of like James Bond. They're a little smaller on the inside, which is not great, but it's not like necessarily like the turn off, but. Oh! Woo! Look at this. Yeah, it was a Quattro Forte. Yeah, I had all. Uh, blacked out, it was matte black. It was older. I only got it because 
my teammate, uh, DeMar DeRozan, had one. I thought it was the coolest car ever, but his was way newer. I was like, fuck it, I want one. And so I was like, I'm gonna get one. This is nice. This takes me back, bro. I used to have one of these. Mm -hmm. See, this is before you were born. <laughs> How's it feel? Small. The last one I remember, it's kind of big, don't get me wrong, but there's like, there's pretty much no space in the back. This is all new, this is really nice. All of this is really nice. This is, it's not, it's, this looks like a pretty decent car. Right? It looks good on the inside. Oh, 700,000. Nice. 700,000 in this car. <laughs> Probably. Oh, they got a scooter here. First car I ever fell in love with was, what is it called? The Medina, the Medina, the Medina 360, whatever it is. It looks something like this. Literally the mo one of the most iconic Ferrari cars to me that I grew up loving. Even though it's probably a little newer, but it's pretty much all the... Yeah, 2008, bro. 249, this car is a beast. One of my favorite looking cars. Yeah, 430 Scooter Rita. I know it. I know it when I see it. It's on the dash. A lot. The F12. Literally... 212 for the F12 to 2015. Yo, literally my dream car is right here. What is oh my God, and it's, I mean, this is very affordable. Uh-oh. Oh my God, you smell that old uh -oh. leather? I smell old leather, that's one thing, bro. I hate how they're like big. That, leather bro. just, when it's old, it smells like a you tell bag me? of skin. Here, it's a lot of black. I just, I don't think I'll ever get a Porsche the day has been Aston Martin. My second car of the day has been that F12 over there. No, sorry. The Scuderia followed by the F12. They're both a little older. But um, yeah, man, I'm not a Porsche guy. I kind of like this thing. Sorry, it's sick. But yeah, man, I'm not a Porsche guy, I don't think. It is what it is, but definitely that Aston Martin stole my mind, so. I mean, we'll definitely have to do this again. But for the most part, that they really popped out except that one car, which was $500,000. But either way, we'll see if I wing it. We will see. What you doing? What you huh? doing? What you doing? <laughs> this is the guy.